What's up everybody? Before I get to the package that totally sent me, I do want to make sure that I um, take the time to actually read the letter that James Tree sent to me. And he did send me a pop. I did mention it in the last Funko News video, but yeah, I just want to make sure I share the actual letter here. So I do have it right here with me. And it says, um, Hello FM, here is the extra scorpion that I purchased just in case someone needed it. Um, well, he's saying he purchased it in case somebody needed it. Um, he says that and the guy in front of him had five of them. So I'm happy to give this to you for all your hard work you do for us, your viewers. I have been collecting for a short time and your news uh, newscast on the Pops helps me out a lot. Uh, just got the call to pick up my two pack from GameStop. So my set is complete. Hope this Scorpion helps with yours. Okay, and he signed his name here. And it says also thanks for having a channel free from nonsense. And yes, my last name is Tree. <laughs> and he put laugh out loud, loud there. So um, I know that's tough to see. But um, yeah, I actually uh, really appreciate this. I'm going to um, show the figure. Even though I know a lot of you have seen the Scorpion figure by now, I'm still going to share it real quick. And I did actually leave it. He shipped it a box in the box, which is pretty cool of him to do. Um, I really like people reusing these boxes that some of the companies are using now. Okay. So yeah, got the Scorpion there very cool looking figure and I'm actually gonna leave it in the box for now like I said I know a lot of people at this point have seen it before but this is really an awesome looking figure and the two pack that he mentioned um I saw it up close for the first time a couple of days ago and uh, there's more detail on it than I expected I really like how Scorpion um actually has like ice like he's iced over on his body and everything they did really well with that you know the way it, ma it really makes it look like Scorpion and Sub-Zero were attacking each other so that is very cool but yeah um, thanks again James Tree you know thank you for uh, not only sending the pop but taking the time to write those kind words as well that really is nice of you and um, of course I will add that letter to my wall where I, I post up all the letters that I receive so I'm gonna go ahead and get to the box that totally sent my way and um, the tape was a little loose on the bottom but I think everything inside is fine here so yeah, yeah everything should be good to go I did cut it open I haven't pulled anything out just yet though but um, I do have an idea of what is in here okay so it's got bubble wrap on here nicely he also shipped box within a box for these figures here oh and there's a letter on the bottom Maybe that's what happened. Maybe the um, box got flipped upside down or something. Um, so, let's go and take a quick look here at the, the letter that he sent. Um, it says, Franklin, just a quick note to let you know how much your friendship means to us. You're one of the first people we connected with. And now you're not just a fellow YouTuber. You are a dear friend. Thank you, Nate and Angie. <laughs> that is very kind of them. So, uh. Yeah, Nate and Angie, um, they, um, well, Nate is totally the towel man, and then Angie, the woman behind the camera, so I really do appreciate these kind words as well. Again, this is something that I will hang on to and make sure I put this up on my wall. Oh, by the way, before I forget about it, I am going to link a video down below. I sent, um, I sent them a package recently. They just did a video on it. Uh, might have been just yesterday or the day before, but, um, yeah, I will link that video down below. Please make sure you check out that video and also show your support for the channel, Totally the Towel Man. So the first pop here is Moon Knight. And this is the um, the Hot Topic shared exclusive, not the one directly from the con the convention. Um, That one, uh, it would be nice to have that one one day, but I mean, I really do like the look of this one as well. Oh, and uh, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and say this because I don't know if there will be a Funko News this evening uh, because really be because of the holiday there's just not much information out there but the um, the new the classic looking version of Moon Knight let me see if they have a picture of no they don't have the classic one on here they just have the artwork for the Mr. Knight version of Moon Knight but yeah the uh, the classic version of Moon Knight that pop figure the Walgreens exclusive has started to show up on the West Coast so yeah if you're looking for that one um, and especially if you're on the West Coast go ahead and start looking for it because it is starting to appear but yeah, that's Moon Knight there. Very awesome looking. And then we have another pop here. Also shipped a box within a box. And oh, this box is actually kind of designed differently. Okay, but the other one we have here, if you follow my channel, it's no surprise what it is. It is 
the Kamikaze shared exclusive, the uh, Flock Snowball from Rick and Morty. So I didn't have this original pop figure, so you know it's really I'm kind of glad that I waited now, and I do have the Flock version here. So that is very cool. Looks like they did a great job with the flocking on it as well. Okay, so I want to check the back of the box real quick. Yeah, it's just that uh, Rick and Morty wave there, which I do have weaponized Rick, weaponized Morty. I got that Me Seeks there. Now I got the Snowball. You know, I'm not worrying about the common necessarily. Um, the others here, Squanchy, Bird Person, Mr. Poopy Butthole. Um, not really so sure about them. I do like the design of Squanchy. Maybe that'll be one I pick up eventually. And who knows, maybe I eventually will get the others too, especially if I find them on sale. And there's a lot of Rick and Morty pops on the way. As a matter of fact, the next wave is starting to show up in stores, so do be on the lookout for those. And I'm um, not so sure about when the toxic versions of Rick and Morty are coming out. I'm really not so crazy about those. They kind of just did, I mean, repaints on other molds and... I don't think they really represent the way that those the toxic versions were. I think Rick should look angry, and he just doesn't look angry with the mold they decide to use. So, not really so sure about those, but I am looking forward to uh, the two versions of Pickle Rick. And um, I'm trying to think of what else from from that next wave. I know I want to get Scary Terry, and I feel like there's something else Rick and Morty on the way. I know I want the vinyl two pack as well, but in terms of pops, I feel like I'm forgetting something. But you know, so much. Uh, so much information runs through my mind dealing with Funko News that it can be tough to actually keep up at times. But yeah, uh, again, big shout out to James Tree and a big shout out to Toy the Towel Man and the woman behind the camera. Really do appreciate the packages here. Um, like I said, unless there's a sudden flood of information that appears from somewhere, there probably won't be a, a Funko News um, this evening. And I really have been looking around. Um, I don't feel like there's much more information that's really interesting enough to uh, you know make a video so I'm not gonna waste anybody's time you know trying to fluff out a video so uh, yeah if there's not one um, this evening I'm pretty sure there will be one midweek like usual but yeah that's gonna do it for now do make sure that you check out Tolly's channel like I said link in the description for um, the unboxing that they did for the box that I sent their way and if you're new to their channel you know you like the content do make sure that you subscribe show them some support super nice people genuinely nice people and um, that's very much appreciated but yeah that's gonna take care of things for now and I will talk to you all again real soon